It's 105.5 WDHA here on the Jersey Magazine. It is National Blood Donor Month during the month of January. And on with me this morning, and once again, is Robert Kessler. He is the Senior Manager, Donor Recruitment for Vitalant. Robert, good morning and welcome back to WDHA. Jim, thanks. It's always great to be with you and thanks for having me today. I know that January, as we said, is National Blood Donor Month. Where are the supplies right now? I understand it's pretty critical. It is, Jim. Um, really, there's a national blood shortage. Um, Vitalant's blood supply has dropped to a two-year low, and we're urging all eligible donors to s- help save lives and to make an appointment this January. Um, a couple of things are really going on. The Omicron variant, I think, continued uncertainty. We've not really seen our high schools and colleges come back to have blood drives on, on campus the way we have in the past. Um, a lot more businesses are still operating virtually. Um, seasonal challenges such as weather and other factors are really adversely affecting the blood supply. Um, So we're really urging all eligible donors to make an appointment this month um, and get the blood supply back to where it needs to be. During a typical January, what are the supplies like? How different is it this year from years past? Uh, we're probably looking at maybe a two-day supply now. We like to, we normally, we like to have a five-day supply. We do always see seasonal um, changes in the blood supply, especially in that period of time from about mid-December um, to mid-January. But this is probably, as you know, again, it's, it's a two-year low. So that gives you an idea. Um, other blood centers are experiencing the same thing in terms of their blood supply. So I really think a number of things have come together uh, to kind of get us to where we are. That's why we really need folks to come out to donate. You mentioned Omicron, and obviously, you know, with this, we're still in the middle of of this, hopefully starting to come out of it as the uh, the variant seems to be weakening a little bit. But how much of an effect has the pandemic had on you and your company? Well, you know, again, I, 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 the, really, I think the biggest thing is with our high schools and colleges, because again, they, had, they just we just don't have high school. Blood. We have very few high school or college blood drives at this point. Uh, Normally that makes up about 20% of what we collect. Uh, The other thing we're seeing with with the pandemic is like many other businesses, we're struggling with uh, the number of staff we have as well. So all those things just kind of converging together, I think have kind of gotten us to where we are. Um, I guess the one bright spot is you did mention it's National Blood Donor Month. Um, And as a special thank you to our donors, Everyone who donates in the month of January will be entered into a $5,000 big game giveaway. So four lucky Vitalant donors are going to win a $5,000 prepaid gift card um, redeemable by email. So again, we're hoping that that um, helps to get people to come out and really, you know, thanking people for coming out to donate to help us uh, meet the hospital needs. $5,000 is a big chunk of change. I like that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four lucky people, Jim. <laughs> if that's not an incentive, Bob, I don't know what is. Robert Kessler, our guest this morning, he is the Senior Manager, Donor Recruitment for Vitalant at 105.5 WDHA with January being National Blood Donor Month. Bob, a lot of people concerned, obviously, about COVID and what goes on. Talk about the precautions that your staff takes during a typical blood drive. Okay. Uh, Currently, um, all our staff, all donors, and all visitors at a Vitalant Donor Center or a Vitalant Vitalant Blood Drive uh, must wear a mask. Um, Again, we have very stringent cleaning protocols that that take place. Um, And let's see what else. The the masking, the cleaning protocols, the, um, the social distancing. So again, you know, safety is our primary um, concern. We want to make sure we have a safe environment. So we follow those protocols. Yeah, I know when WDHA had a blood drive a few months ago at your location in Parsippany, it was a very, very smooth process. The social distancing, everything being cleaned. You could really see the care that the staff was taking to make sure that everybody, you know, there was a level of comfort for everyone who came in there. So kudos to your staff for doing that, Bob. A great job oh, by them. Thanks, Jim. It's always nice to hear nice things like that. And we do take, obviously, the safety of our donors very seriously and uh, follow all the necessary um, protocols given to us by the CD- CDC. What blood type is most needed at this point? 
we always need O's, O's and platelet donors. Uh, so again, if you're a no donor, um, please go to, please call 877-25-VITAL, V-I-T-A-L, or log on to vitalent.org. Uh, you'll be asked to enter your zip code. It'll take you to a page where you can select a convenient location. One of our four donor centers located either Paramus, Montvale, Lincoln Park, or Parsippany, or a blood, blood, an open blood drive um, that's near your location. If, if DHA listeners, maybe a company or a school does want to start a blood drive, what's the best way for them to do that, Bob? Again, they can, they can give us a call. That's the best thing to do is the 877-25 vital number. That information will get to us and we will certainly follow up as quickly as possible. I'm looking at that tw- at $5,000 and thinking, you know what? I'm an O-type. I need to donate. I haven't donated <laughs> in a few months. <laughs> Jim, just make sure you're eligible and we would happy to be happy to see you at an open blood drive or one of our donor centers. What is your goal for the month of January? Do you have a, a specific number you're trying to reach here? Yeah, right now, overall, between our donor centers and our mobiles, we're looking at hopefully collecting about 1,500 units this month. We're not going to. That's not going to happen. Um, again, between some of the cancellations that we've had as far as businesses, again, kind of reverting to going virtual, some of the you know few weather-related issues we've had, and you know the community groups um, have been absolutely outstanding in terms of supporting us um, through um, the entire pandemic. But um, the high schools and colleges, I mean, that's the one, because again, you, you see that, you know, high schools are reverting back to virtual learning. So we had some high schools on, on our calendar, but then they reverted back. So again, it's just, it kind of ebbs and flows in terms of, of, of what the situation is. But the thing we miss the most at this point, I think are high schools and colleges. Cause like I said, that accounted for about 20% of our collections, especially, you know, from September through um, May. And again, for DHA listeners who want more information about how they can donate or perhaps set up a blood drive of their own, 877-25-VITAL, or you can go to vitalent.org. And once again, January being National Blood Donor Month, so we do encourage our listeners to help in any way that they can. Robert Kessler, Senior Manager, Donor Recruitment at Vitalent, thank you for joining us this morning here on the Jersey Magazine, and best of luck this month. Okay, Jim, thanks so much. Thanks for having me, and again, Thanks for all your support. We always appreciate everything that WDHA does for us um, and the great blood drives that you uh, that you uh, that you host.